if you are watching this video, and I think you will watch this video, if you really are a man of your word, step in the ring with me, and let's settle this once and for all. I'm like, oh God, oh, oh my God, bitch, I run the game, y'all just commentate from the side, I'm like, oh God. Yo, what's going on, guys? Oh, Doug Tetsu oh, Martin oh, here. Hope you guys are having a great day, and today it is the day after the Super Bowl. So I just want to give a huge congratulations to all the Eagles fans out there who finally was able to experience their first Super Bowl win. I'm a Giants fan. I'm not a really big fan of the Eagles. They're our division rival. But I will say this. When I was 12 years old and I watched the Giants beat the Patriots in 2007, it was the coolest feeling in the world just jumping up and screaming and just being so happy for my team. So I have a little cousin. He's actually 12 years old. He just watched the Eagles when he's a huge Eagles fan. So to see them the way that they beat the Patriots and how Brady put up like 500 yards in the Super Bowl, it was crazy how the Eagles were able to come back and win and be the underdogs and and have a backup quarterback come in like it was just insane to watch it was a really fun game so for all the Eagles fans out there congratulations for all the Patriots fans out there like Banks and Tommy you guys already got five rings in your lifetime okay so you experienced a lot of times you guys are spoiled you're probably gonna be back next year but that was yesterday and today's a brand new day and we got a lot of things to do I already got a lot of things done around the house example one I got a rubber mat around a welcome mat for my downstairs back door example number two I went out to Home Depot and I bought a trash can Last but not least, this is the worst thing about being a homeowner, doing your own laundry. I spent oh, all it. morning doing don't. all of this laundry. Look at all that stuff over That's not true, guys. I'm doing everything. What do you mean you did everything? This. I did all this. No, that's not true. <laughs> We're a couple, Jeanette, so if you do it, I did it. It's the don't team. Watch, and I'm just putting Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Give me a fist bump. <laughs> Difficult work. Guys, comment down below how beautiful she is. I can't understand her right now because she just, I love this top. I've never seen her wear this thing before. It looks so cute. You like that? I love that. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> right, this is starting to get weird. Anyways, yeah, we got all the laundry done today. Uh, it's starting to get dark here and we have one more thing we gotta do. Where is Mimi? Oh, I can't hold me. Guys, look at all the ducks in the water. Oh my god, look at all the ducks on the property. Aww. Look at all them geese. Oh, this is one to take Mimi. Wait, hold on, say that again. The bears want to take Mimi. What birds want to take Mimi? The white. Jeanette, I'm so zoomed on your face. Hold on, I'm trying to zoom out. These bears want to take Mimi. What birds? Those birds are all the way over there, up there in the sky? They're white. Guys, all these birds up here keep swarming around our house, trying to take our dog away from us. As a father, as this being my daughter, I will not allow these Mimi. things to take my dog. Today's your big day, Mimi. Mimi, how do you feel about taking a bath right now? Aww. Lick your tongue if you want a bath right now, Mimi. No. Lick your tongue if you want a bath right now, Mimi. I'll give you one more chance. She doesn't want it. <laughs> she doesn't want it. Look at her eyes. She, she's like, oh god, no, what are you guys gonna do to me? Mimi, te voy a bañar. It's time to take a shower, Mimi. Oh, she doesn't want Mimi's about to get her first shower in our house. We haven't given her one yet, and man, she really needs it. She plays around with these ducks all the time, and she loves to just spin around in the poop, and as you guys can tell, she's really not interested in getting one right now, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Am I right? Oh. Look at her, she's shaking. Oh, Aww. Oh, she doesn't want it. Alright, step number one. Water and, and Mimi. But she obviously doesn't want it right now. She's climbing up on me so hard. She doesn't want to get the bath. It's going to be okay, baby. It's going to be okay. Take my camera real quick. Look at me. She obviously doesn't want to go in the shower. She is hanging on for her life oh, right now. Oh, Mimi. Look at her. It's okay. Look at her. She doesn't want to go. Come on, Mimi. Oh, she's hugging my neck now. Mimi. Mimi. Come on! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at her! Oh, <laughs> it's okay, baby. It's okay. Ah! Okay, come here, come here. It's okay. Aww. Like she really doesn't want to get a shower, but the second that the hot water starts hitting her, she it's loves okay. it. You are just adorable. Aww. You are so cute. Look at your face. Ah, I'm in Alright, step number one is complete. Step number two. Get that shampoo. Ah. <laughs> is now complete step number three we got to dry her oh it's clean Mimi you're clean baby Aww. guys you have no idea how much I love this dog she is my favorite my favorite in the entire world man it's a lot of work being a parent let me tell you we do a pretty good job though I think what would you say yes we do a great job we're a good Aww. team yes guys we are a very good team Oh. I'll do that one more time. That was cute. Go like this again one more time. Ah. Guys. 
<laughs> no, it's too, too much, too much. <laughs> Alright, so for the second part of this vlog, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So this last weekend was crazy, okay? We had the Super Bowl yesterday, and then two days ago, we had the biggest boxing match of all time between people that are amateurs. Not even amateurs, like, these guys aren't even boxers. I'm talking about KSI and Joe Weller. They had some YouTube beef, just like any other YouTubers have had in the past. So they decided to settle it in the ring. They spent the last four or five months training, like, nonstop, hardcore, which I think we have a lot of respect to them for. If you guys want to watch the documentary behind KSI and how he was training with FaZe Sensei, it's on FaZe Clan. I'll leave a link in the description below. But it's just awesome to see that. It really is. I mean, I've seen a lot of YouTube drama. I've been a part of some YouTube drama in my days with Sniper Wolf, which is going to lead me into what I'm going to talk about in a second. But to see how this event was ran and to see all the fans show up to it, it was awesome. It was really cool. It was something I've never seen before in YouTube history. And I thought it was great for the community. I thought a lot of people got behind it. I thought there was a lot of fans for Joe, a lot of fans for KSI. If you guys don't know, uh, this is the clip of KSI beating Joe. Here Hamza. we go. This surely is the end of the fight. JJ has got so much power. It's waved off. Again, if you want to watch the full fight, I'll leave a link in that in the description below. It's on KSI's channel. It's on Joe Weller's channel. After Joe lost, he said respect to KSI. So I thought it was really cool. I thought they both handled it with class. I thought it was just an awesome fight. But after the fight, KSI said if any YouTuber wants to come out and challenge him for the belt, they could come out and do it. Now, I'm not coming out to challenge KSI, okay? I don't even know KSI. I know he's affiliated with FaZe. A lot of people on FaZe have met him before. I'm a big fan of him. I've never met him before. I have no story to fight him. I have no reason to fight him. There's, there's nothing behind that at all. But there is one guy who I would love to square up with in the ring. I'm not talking about KSI. I'm not talking about Aches. We're not talking about Call of Duty players here. Guys, I'm talking about the one and only, the notorious Evan Sausage. So months ago, Sniper Wolf got in this drama with Banks. You guys all saw the videos on my channel. It all blew over. Sniper Wolf never apologized. She just acted like it never existed. She put out one apology saying that the texts were not real. And then I went to the Verizon store to show everybody that the texts were real. And then she just never said anything. She just kind of acted like it didn't matter anymore. She just went back to making her reaction videos and just making boatloads of cash. Which all credit to her. Do what you got to do to make money. I, I don't care how people do their thing. If you want to make your videos like reaction videos. If you want to make gameplay videos. If you want to make vlogs. You're free to do whatever you want. It's America. I, I don't care. But I, I was pretty pissed off about this whole thing. Because not only... Did she lie? But then Sausage gets involved and he sent me a text the same night of the Mayweather-McGregor fight telling me that he was going to be suing me for lying and for defaming Leah. So then I came out, I made a video and I said, Sausage, if you want to sue me, go right ahead. I'm, I'm ready for you, bro. Sue me. Take me to court. Let's do this. And he never sued me. And I'm honestly not surprised about that at all. I just can't understand how you publicly come out and say that I am lying and that you're going to sue me, but you just, you just never sue me. But above all, the reason I want to step in the ring with Sausage is because I saw what KSI and Joella did. I just thought that was freaking awesome. I loved every single second of it. I thought that's the best way to resolve any type of YouTube drama. And I know Sausage is all about his weight loss journey and, and all that stuff, so I think this would be a really cool story for him, but regardless, I would just love to step in the ring with this guy, because I just think it would be entertaining and fun. Now, I highly doubt Sausage is going to respond. I actually put out a tweet on Twitter. He blocked me, but I put out a tweet and I tagged him on it. I haven't heard anything back from him, but if you're watching this video, Sausage, if you're a man of your word and you want to step up for a challenge, come out and square up with me. Let's hop into the ring. Sausage, if you are watching this video, and I think you will watch this video, if you really are a man of your word, step in the ring with me, and let's settle this once and for all. I think it's so entertaining for YouTube. I just think it's good content, and there's a great story behind it. Like, this dude told me he was gonna sue me and never did. Like, come on, bro. Step in the ring, and let's get this squared away, okay? If you guys wanna see that, smash the like button on this video. I'm freaking pumped right now, dude. I doubt he's gonna do it. I, I honestly, did, I wouldn't believe it. If he did it, Oh my god, if he actually said yes, I would just be shocked. I mean, we're talking about one of the biggest liars in YouTube history here. I, I doubt this guy is going to come out and, and fight me. And if he did, he'd probably be lying about that. I'm going to end it on that note. I, I have nothing else to say. Sausage, if you are down, unblock me and or text me. You have my phone number. You could text me and we could actually settle this once and for all. I, I just don't understand how you want to sue somebody and then you just don't even talk to them after that. Like, it kind of pisses me off. It, it actually... It makes no sense. Again, I just feel like they handle the situation like a bunch of cowards. And when I say they, I mean Sniper Wolf and Evan Sausage because they are business partners. I think when I made those videos exposing them, which again, I didn't even care to do, but they, they like forced me to do them. Sniper Wolf's channel like completely dropped down. She was getting like crazy views a month, like 100 million views a month to like 25 million in a month, which is still insane. Like I think my best month was 25 million views. And I think they got scared and they felt threatened and they thought that I destroyed their YouTube channel because of the videos that I made. And that's why he texted me saying he was going to sue me. But then her channel bounced right back up. They went straight back to the reaction videos, and I think they just said, 
We're making money, so why should we even care to sue him anymore? Just a thought. I don't know. So Sausage Sniper Wolf, I hope if you're watching this, I pissed you off because that was part of the intention of this video. I would just love to participate in a YouTube boxing match, and there's no other person I'd rather do it with than Evan Sausage. So if you guys do want to see that happen, please smash the like button and subscribe if you guys are new. I am just so pumped right now. I don't know what it is. I just feel great. I feel motivated. I'm settled into my house. It took me like three months, guys, moving worst, best and worst thing ever, okay? It has been such a, a journey for me, but I'm finally settled in and I feel amazing now and I want to give a huge thank you to all you guys and if you guys enjoyed this again, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I think I hit every single point on the head with this video. Uh, sausage, I highly doubt you're going to even respond to this because I just know the type of person you are, but, but I think this would be awesome content for yourself and awesome motivation for yourself for your weight loss journey. I am not one to pick on anybody with any weight problem, whether they're really skinny or really fat. I want to make that very clear to you guys. I am all for motivating people to feel good in their own skin and, and be the best person they could be because I was that skinny little twig and I wasn't comfortable in my skin and I wanted to make something of myself and I wanted to change something about that. So I am all for motivating everybody and it's sausage. I think this would be great motivation for you, bro. So I think that's where I'm going to wrap this video up today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day. It's been your boy Doug Sensor Martin, and I'm out, guys. Peace.